Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Midday with LaJean and Valor. We're excited to have you with us on today. Blessings, blessings to you, our dear family. We love you guys. We appreciate each and every one of you that are coming and joining in with us. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will certainly rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good and he's worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. So um, as you come on, as you uh, come on and join the broadcast, please share and invite others to follow along with you. We are entering into a new month. Amen. The month of June. And we are excited that this, this day Hallelujah represents mega proportions. Amen. And so I'm sure everybody is, is, is ready for mega. You're ready for increase. You're ready for more. And so you're at the right place at the right time. So please invite someone to come in and join in with us and be blessed by today's broadcast. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. Really <laughs> excited about what God is doing. And um, just seeing God do some amazing things, some amazing connections, some amazing relationships. Uh, and I believe that, you know, what God does for one, he'll do for everybody. His word yes. says that he is not a respecter of persons. So if he does it for me, he'll do it for you. If he does it for my wife, he'll do it for me. If he does yes. it for you, you know, I mean, he'll do it for all of us. And so that's what we got to know. We got to really stand firm on that. Believe God and trust God for uh, for breaking through in areas of our lives where things have been stagnant, you know. Yes. And, uh, you know, I was doing a, a teaching even in my, I was just kind of outlining a teaching this morning. And, uh, you know, sometimes people say, well, why do certain gifts in the body have certain messages? Why, why do we always talk about breakthrough? Why do we always talk about really stirring your fire, keeping you encouraged? Well, that's part of our gift. It's a part of who right. we're called to, what, we're, what we're called to do, who we're yes. called to be. And uh, we want to keep the body stirred, keep you excited, keep you uh, moving along, keep you believing God for amazing things. And uh, my wife was just saying something right before we even got started, just about how May was going to be a month where people are going to, or June is going to be a month where people leap again, where they jump again. You even said May was a month though of manifestation, yes. and we did. We have two of two of the major, most major manifestations in our pretty pretty much in our lives probably happen in the month of May. Yes. And so if June gets any better, I don't know what we're gonna do. You know, it's, it's we're just, gonna jump, we're gonna leap, we're gonna for leap. Joy. That's it. And you know that's what happens when you're excited about something. When you see something, you begin to leap, you begin to jump, you begin to um, you know jump with excitement about what you've seen because it's so spectacular, it's so amazing, and so that. That's where God is and that's what he's releasing unto us even even today that it's going to be mega proportions it's going to be huge it's going to be grandiose and so that's the God that we serve we don't serve a small God we don't serve an almost God we don't serve a little God we serve a big God he's big and everything he does is big yes will you do something for us will you do something uh, that would really make our day number one if you haven't liked our page would you like it number two if you have not um, if you have not um, if you have not shared please share now on Facebook there is an interesting process so on on on, uh, on Periscope you just hit the three dots at the bottom or you can hit the little man and then it'll come up and you'll be able to share on Twitter and share on uh, on, on Facebook you know you'll be able to share uh, or you'll be able to share with your followers so I want you to do that for me if you're on Instagram I mean if you're on uh, Periscope and then if you're on Facebook you can actually hit share but then you can actually hit once it goes to share then it can actually let you go into your friends and start inviting people so if you would go in and invite people and let them know that we're on and that what we're talking about you think it's going to be a blessing to them so it, it doesn't cost you anything to just hit that invite bottom button and just if there if the, if the people that are on would just invite somebody into the uh, broadcast the uh, broadcast will be full so I'm excited thank you so much for supporting us and standing with us and uh and so at any rate we're, we're going to start yes that is the new uh the new thought we're going to start the midnight <laughs> cry again tonight and uh, i know that uh ken's rose was going to be excited about that so uh, different people that have been a part of our group from the beginning are really yes. excited about the uh about the uh, midnight cry again and so we're really excited that that starts tonight we said we're going to start at june 1st and, uh, and so really, really excited about really being able to impact the people of God and seeing people break through. A lot of people like praying at midnight. Yes. And I really believe it's a, it's a time of breakthrough. It's an hour uh, for really, really increasing. And so we're really excited. Uh, the intercessors are rising. They're excited. Yes. Raquel Simone and many others who are 
uh, who've been with us again from the very beginning are yes. really, really excited. And they're, they're excited about praying with us again. So thank you so much. And uh, yep, started fasting today. Some people say it. So that's going to be exciting. Yes. And we're excited about this time. Really seeing you break through, seeing you go to your next level, seeing you go into your next place. And uh, really, really achieving some some really amazing and powerful things. And we're going to try to do some other things, even with the Midnight Cry. We're going to try to bring uh, other people into it with us and pray with us and release the, the sound of worship and other things. So I really believe it's going to be an amazing time. And we're going to see some God do some amazing things uh, in our lives. Amen? Amen. Well, listen, we love you. We're going to talk today about how uh, we really believe that, that June is going to be a month of mega proportions. Now, what does it mean to be a month of mega proportions? Meaning God is going to literally do some things in your life that he has not done in other months and other other years in your life. That God is literally something you've been praying about, something you've been believing God for. You're about to get the manifestation and the, the answers to the things that you've been praying for. You, you, you know, you've been praying, you, you're like, um, you know, you're like, um, um, I was thinking about Abraham and you're, you're like Abraham, you know, here it is. He's been believing God for something. He's been believing God for his son uh, for quite some time. And then all of a sudden, suddenly God begins to release the things to him that he needs released. Come on. You're like, uh, you're like Joseph for years. He has been in prison. He's been incarcerated. And now all of a sudden, suddenly God begins to release him and bring to manifestation everything that he promised him. The Bible says that he was 17 years old when God, when he was attending, uh, you know, and, you know, he was in the field. And, uh, and so here he is, he's in his father's house. He's being blessed. He's been favored. And so God literally in th those 13 years, now I can't, I can't imagine what it would have been like, how excruciating it was, but all of the pain of those 13 years that he had to suffer and he had to go through challenges. He had to be rejected. He had to go through all the things that he went through, that all the things that he went through in those years, in the, in a moment of time, God literally was able to, to make that thing be wiped away. Come on. Yes. All it takes is one moment in time for God to literally change and shift and transform yes. and transition everything about your life. Make your life be what you have, what you have always dreamed for it to be. And we're believing that you're getting ready to start to see the manifestation of the things that you've been believing yes. God for. Amen. Absolutely. And even myself, even when I think of mega proportions, I think of a supply that will never run out. Wow. That it continues. That when God blesses you, it's not just to meet a specific need at the moment. No, it is a perpetual blessing. It continues to grow. Mm. It continues to increase. It continues to manifest over and over and over and over again. And, and so that's the kind of blessing that we want. That is what we're anticipating. That's what we're expecting in the month of June. Mega proportions that it's going to it's going to overflow. You're walking into a perpetual overflow. You're walking into a perpetual um, um, increase. And so God says, I'm taking you from glory to glory. You know, you're not going to stay at one level of glory. You're going to continue to grow. Your glory is going to grow. The glory of the Lord is going to continue to increase upon your life. God is taking you from faith to faith. Your faith, my God, Hallelujah. You believe God for one thing, but my God, God has given you such a faith, not just a measure of faith, but you're going to operate in the gift of faith. It's time for the gifts to be stirred up and to be activated to, to, to see the manifestation of God's word. So let your faith arise today. Let your faith go to new heights today. Let your faith go into new dimensions and believe God for things that you've never believed him for. Why? Because God is doing something so amazing and it's going to have be mega proportioned. You know, I was as you were saying that I began to look at a text of scripture. You know, I love yes. I love the scripture. Love One of the things too. that I was prophesying even to myself today, uh, as I was thinking about doing this scope, was uh, and I was sitting at the at the barber shop. As I'm sitting at the barber shop, I'm looking and I'm thinking and I'm thinking about how a lot of times God will show me oil being poured out and like oil from heaven, really literally being poured out upon uh, different places and and, and 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 different people's lives. And I thought about this this month even being a month where the oil of the Lord is really being poured out. And when you said that mega supply, that there is a perpetual supply getting ready to be released for the people of God, I began to think about 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 through 7. The Bible says, a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet cried out to Elisha, saying, your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord, and the creator is creditor is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. So Elisha said to her, what shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? And she said, your maidservant has nothing in the house except for, uh, ex except for a jar of oil. Then he said, go borrow vessels from everywhere, from all your neighbors, empty vessels, do not gather a few. And you, and when you come in, you should shut the door behind you and your sons and pour it out unto these vessels and set aside the full ones. So she went in from him and shut the door behind her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out 
Now it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said to her son, bring me another vessel. And he said to her, there is not another vessel. So the oil ceased. Then she came and told the man of God, he said, go and sell the oil and pay your debt, you and your sons and live on the rest. And so in essence, what happened was, is that there was enough for her not only to take care of her present need, but there, as you said, there was a perpetual supply. Yes. And so we believing that God is literally getting ready to bring mega proportions to you <laughs> in such a way that you will not only have something that meets your need now, right. but that God literally causes a perpetual supply to happen in your life. That's our yes. prayer today. That's what we're going to pray about in just a few moments. Yes. That's what we're going to prophesy to you that God is literally causing the oil of heaven to flow in your situation. And as God begins to pour out his oil upon you, he begins to pour out his favor upon you, he begins to pour out his blessings upon you, he begins to release even increase upon you in the name of Jesus that you will begin to see an increase and a manifestation. You begin to see God move in your situation like you have not seen it before. We're believing God for June to be a month of mega proportions yes. in your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So e even now, I I'm just really excited because even as we've been declaring, when, when we declare a thing, when God puts it in our spirit and we declare it, it has to already manifest. It begins to manifest. We see the manifestation of God's word. Even as we did the seven days of breakthrough, the seven days of healing, the seven days of favor, we begin to see the manifestation of God's word. As we begin to read the word of God, as we begin to decree and declare it, it begins to manifest. Healings begin to manifest. We begin to get um, testimonies of, of healings, of, of knees being healed, ankles being healed. Um, um, you know, being delivered and set free from pain and discomfort. And so God is truly faithful concerning his word. We've got to be in a place where we discern <clears throat> the times and the seasons, what God is doing and what he wants to do in our life so that we can take hold of that and, and, and see the, the manifestation come to pass in our life. Amen. So we're excited. Let's pray. You want to pray first? Uh, I know you prayed this morning, and uh, I know the people of God were blessed as you prayed. Will you pray this morning, then I want to pray for you? Absolutely. Father, we just thank you this uh, today. We thank you for the beginning of this new month, the month of June, the month of mega proportion, the month, God, that we will leap for joy, the month, Father God, that we will receive a double portion. We will receive mega proportion of what you have declared over our life, God, whether it's favor, whether it's breakthrough, whether it's fight finances, whether it's resources. God, we thank you that you are not just a supplying our need, but you're giving us the very desires of our heart. It's not just for right now, but God, even for our future. You're blessing us for our future. You're blessing us so that we can be a blessing. God, that we will be able to lend to nations in the name of Jesus. God, you're raising us up as a voice. God, to go forth in the name of Jesus, to decree and declare your word, that it will be established. You're calling us, Father God, to build, to, to, uh, to do new things, God, and to to, to build even businesses and ministries. God, you're calling us. Hallelujah, God, even from afar. And glory to God. And you're gathering us together, even as we have come together on today. God, from the north, the south, the east, and the west. God, within the United States and various other countries, you're calling your sons and your daughters together. You're causing intercessors to arise. You're calling us, Father God, to decree and declare, to lift up our voice like a trumpet in the name of Jesus. We thank you even now, Father, that the alarm has sounded, my God, and, the, and the, your glory is being revealed in our life and in the lives of your sons and your daughters. God, we thank you for mega. We thank you for something extraordinarily big, huge, large, irregularly large. Hallelujah. Glory to God that you can't even measure it. There is a blessing coming that you can't measure. Glory to God. You don't even know when it's going to end because it's going to continue to be pe perpetual in the name of Jesus. God is going to continue to bless you. And even as you take the blessing of the Lord, God is going to give you such wisdom as to how to increase it and so that it doesn't it doesn't run out. It doesn't leave. Hallelujah. So even now, Father God, I thank you for opening the eyes of their understanding. I thank you for wisdom, God, that you would teach them what to do with the thing that you have blessed them with. I thank you for knowledge, that you're giving them knowledge, Father God, concerning this matter, concerning a business, concerning their ministry, concerning their family. You're giving them knowledge, hallelujah, that they will know what they didn't know before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you would give them divine instruction in the name of Jesus. And they will know, God, with such clarity what it is that you have called them to do. And they will not be distracted. They will not be divided. They will not be anxious. Hallelujah. They will not be weary. And they will certainly not be worried. Hallelujah. We declare that you will not fear in this season in the name of Jesus. But your hope is in Christ Jesus.
Jesus. Glory to God. We thank you, Father, that there is an expectation in the lives of your people. They're expecting you to move. They're expecting you to manifest your word. They're expecting a testimony. Hallelujah. So God, we thank you even now that they will testify of who you are. They will testify of what you've done. They will testify, glory to God, of what is about to take place in their lives in the name of Jesus. You don't have to wait till the battle is over. You can shout right now. You know because God said it, then that settles it. It doesn't matter who else doesn't believe it. Just because he said it, if you know it's already good because he said it. It's already finished. It is complete and you can put an amen on it. Hallelujah because God is who he say he is. He's not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent because he said it. He's going to do it because he spoke it. He will certainly make it good. When God says mega proportions he means mega. He doesn't mean just enough. He doesn't mean a little bit. He doesn't mean a little dab or do you know he says mega. That means increase. That means more than enough that there will be a perpetual support apply in your life of peace, of the glory of God, of the presence of God. That's what we need. We need the presence of God. We need the power of God. We need the provision of God. We need his glory. Hallelujah. We need his peace. We need, oh my God, his righteousness. We need everything that God has. We need it. Amen. Everything that we need and desire, it's in him. And so we don't look outside of him for anything. We don't look outside of him for love. We don't look outside of him for, for provision. He's the source of our total supply in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We, we have resources, but God is the source of our total supply. So even now that he's pouring himself out upon you, he's pouring out fresh oil. He's pouring out fresh fire in the name of Jesus. He's pouring out everything that you would need and desire in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So Father, we thank you that now that yes. this month, June, even as we've seen mega manifestations, God, in the month of May, we declare that this month is going to be that month of mega proportions, God, that you're moving in a way that you've not moved before. You're, uh, you're operating and doing things in the lives of your people, God. You're going to see you in ways that they have not experienced you before. Father, we thank you for your glory. We thank you for your power. God, we thank you for an anointing, God. We thank you for your presence, God. We thank you, God, even as David said, no matter where we go, we can't get away from your presence. So we thank you for the manifestation of your presence in a way that we have not seen it before in measures and magnitudes, even proportions that we have not experienced. Yes. Father, we pray for your blessings and your favor, God, to be poured out upon your people. God, cause your people, God, to prosper in ways that they have not even imagined, God. If they've been thinking one way, God, supersize their dreams, supersize yes. their vision, supersize their understanding. Take them to the next proportion, God, of what they've been expecting, God. Take them to the mega size. God, they've been dreaming and they've had vision and they've had thoughts and they've had ideas, but God, you're getting ready to take them into a place, God, that they could not have imagined, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, God, even as it was pronounced this year, that we cannot stay small. God, we declare that this is their year, God, of mega manifestation, God, mega proportions, God, God, mega suddenly, so heavenly Father, mega everything that they've been desiring and believing you for. God, let your fire be in them, God, let your faith be in them, let your anointing be in them in such a way, God, that it causes them to possess everything that you promised them in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that there is no lack, there is no uh, nothing in their lives that they need or that they desire that they don't receive. Yes. We declare that this is that season for them, God, where they're experiencing, God, the manifestation of every prophetic promise, every declaration, every thought, every vision, every dream, every need, even as this woman, God, that was in the that was in the story in 2 Kings 4 and 1 through 7, Father, that you you supernaturally opened up uh, you know, the windows of heaven, poured out blessings upon her that she'd not have room enough to receive. God, you caused perpetual blessings, yes. God, to be upon her, upon her sons, upon her family. God, when she thought it was the end of things, God, you Jesus. caused her to have a new beginning. And so, yes. Father, we thank you even for those that are watching today, God, that this is their time of new beginning. It's the time, God, that they're going to begin to receive things, God, that they have not had before. God, things that literally wow them and blow their mind. God, they don't even have a fathom in their minds for the things that you're getting ready to release to them and bless them with and favor with them, God, I mean, them with in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, God, for your for new strength upon your people, new favor, new open doors, God, new open windows, God, new open gates, God, yes. that you are literally causing things, God, for them to prosper in ways that they have yes. not prospered before. God, meet every need, everything that's on their mind, everything that's on their heart. God, you do it for them because you can do it like nobody else can do it. And so we bless you, we praise you, we magnify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, amen. we're expecting God to do amazing things for you. We declare that this is that month for you where you're going to just see God do amazing, 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 amazing things. And I know I keep saying amazing, but I'm telling you, I feel it. I sense it. Yes. I know it. Sometimes you can't even 
express or articulate what God is really doing, but I just believe that this is that new season for you where you're going to experience amazing things. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm experiencing some things in my life that I can't even really explain to you or tell you about, but it's almost like we talked about the last couple of days. We are talking about how the new open doors and how, how God was opening double doors, but I'm seeing God open double, triple, quadruple doors uh, for us in different places, in different situations. I'm getting phone calls, and where I thought God was doing doing this, this, and this, God says, no, I'm not only doing that and that, I'm doing, I'm doing this, 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 and this. <laughs> and so simultaneously, God yes. is opening up the windows of heaven and pouring out more blessings upon you than you even have the capacity for. And let me tell you this, there's some of you who are watching, and you say, Lord, but if you do that, I can, I'm barely maintaining with what I have, the abilities and the responsibility I have. The Lord said, no, I'm sending people to you. Who are going to stand with you? You're not alone anymore. You're going to have other yes. people that are going to help you. Some of you, your new proportion and new level is going to come in the new contacts and new relationships that God opens for you and the people that he's bringing you into a relationship with, the people who are helping building your capacity, the people who are going to open doors for you, the people who are going to create opportunity for you. In the past, there were people who walked by you and they could have helped you and they could have blessed you and they could have favored you. And some of them didn't because maybe you weren't their favorite person. Maybe you weren't the person that was chosen, for, uh, that they chose. But God is getting ready to send you people. Let me let me say this. Don't you dare, don't you dare move when God sends you people who are going to open doors for you and bless you and bless you in ways that other people didn't even feel like you had an anointing for, didn't you have the didn't think you had the gift for. God, when God brings you into the company of these new people, don't you feel sorry for the people who did not love you and who did not respect you and who did not know you keep moving and going with God because I'm telling you, God is getting ready to open up doors. Let me tell you something. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I was talking to somebody yesterday and they were in a situation where they were they were crying out for for help and they were crying out for support and they were crying out for people to be there for them and, 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 and these people, nobody was there and then all of a sudden God started sending people and when he started sending people and opening doors for them and favor, then those people who were not on board wanted to come on board then but the reality is even though we don't say it's too late in the kingdom, we also understand I'm not going to put my energy, my effort and everything that I need to put on that person who did not respect me and honor me and love me enough to help me to walk and fulfill my destiny and my purpose Amen. Yes. so you don't owe anything to those people who could not see it in you. Doesn't mean you have to treat them mean and nasty, but uh, but I'm telling you, they're, they're, they're getting ready to be doors that are open for you and uh, and people that are getting ready to bless you. And then God wants to bless. Sometimes he allowed the blessing to be prolonged because he knew that your heart was so good that if he had blessed you while you were still doing what you were, that you would still had those people connected, you would have blessed them and God didn't want them to get the blessing. Are you listening? Now, I know that sounds contrary to what people believe, but I've seen God not allow doors to open until he removed certain people from my life. That's biblical. That's scripture. Do you remember, even though Abraham and Lot were family, the Bible says it was not until Abraham removed Lot from his equation that then he opened up the doors and he blessed him and he favored him. And so there's sometimes, there's sometimes there are people that we have in our lives that are holding up the blessing. And so God says, no, I'm, going, I'm getting ready to release this thing to you. I'm getting ready to remove some people, places, and things that are not in alignment with your purpose and your destiny. And once I've allowed, allowed uh, uh, once I've blessed you, uh, once I've opened, removed them, I'm getting ready to open up doors for you. I'm giving it open up favor to you. Amen. Because I'm telling you, this is the season of God releasing mega proportions to you in your life. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Hallelujah. And so even in that, God will give you discernment as to who he has sent and who the enemy has sent. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, you're going to have such discernment. You're going to have such clarity in this season that you're going to understand you have the wisdom that you need and the knowledge that you need in order to move forward, that you don't take with you what God has not released to you because we don't want to take baggage we don't want to take um, old things we don't want to take old mindset we want to we want to we want to walk in the new and so in order to walk in the new we got to receive the new we got to put on the new amen there are some things we have to take off but there is other things we have to put on in this new season in order to walk in um, mega proportions of the favor and the blessing of the Lord amen amen praise God God is so 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 faithful I'm telling you it is just I, 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 we can't even tell you enough and, and you all know as well that's why you're here that's why you're on this broadcast because you know the faithfulness of God you know what God is able to do and what he's even doing right now God has literally been blowing our mind even in our own lives and in, the, in your lives as well as we hear your testimonies as, as, we, as we share um, with you all as we stand in the gap in agreement with you all we are excited about what God is doing in each and every one of your lives and your families and everything that pertains to you. You know, I'm, I'm going to give you scripture because I always know there's people that sometimes want to challenge things. 
but in Genesis chapter 13 and uh, verse number uh, 14, the Bible says, the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had parted from him, look around from where you are to the north and the south and to the east and the west, all the land that you shall see, I will give it to you and your offspring forever. And I, there goes that perpetual blessing again. Yeah. And I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth so that it could, so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could, could be, uh, that your offspring could be counted. Go walk through the length and breadth of the land for I am giving it to you. And I hear the Lord saying for somebody, I'm getting ready to give you the land. I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to give you that which is to the north, the oh, south, the east, and the west. You, you, you know, you, you didn't count it right to obey the Lord when he said to separate from certain people and so you separated from certain people you separated from certain situations and as soon as you separate I'm telling you separated God says I'm getting ready to bless you I'm getting ready to open the doors for you I'm gonna read it again the Lord said to Abram after Lot had parted from him what is your lot who is the person you've been trying to take with you that you were not destined to take with you because God wants to give you the mega proportion he said look yes. around from where you are to the north and the south and to the east and to the west and all the land that you see I will give you and your offspring spring forever. That's a, that's, that, that's, that's a mega proportion. Yes. And so the promise, he was given the promise in one season, but now is another season. So the seed, you you had a season of promise. Now you're getting ready to walk into a season of fulfillment. You're getting <laughs> yes. ready to walk into a season uh, that, yes. that God is manifesting God. and fulfilling every prophetic promise and everything that he told you he was going to do. You're getting ready to walk in it. Not no longer, uh, not enough, not, not no longer being, being straight. Now the Bible already, he said that he was already blessed. He was already uh, uh, matter of fact, at the beginning of 13, it says, So Abram went up from Egypt to the Negev and his wife and everything he had and Lot went with him. And Abraham had become wealthy in livestock and in silver and in gold. And so he was, he was, he already had substance. Right. But God's getting ready to enlarge the tents of your borders, <laughs> your, the borders of your coast. He yes. said, Listen, you're already blessed. You're already yes. favored. You already have, you, you know, you're already anointed. You know, I, I was telling somebody one day, I'm in a place in life where I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not in a place where I once was. I came right. from the poorest country, the, the, I mean, the poorest city. Uh, in this, in the second, in, in my state, and in the poorest cities, or the, in my state was the second poorest in the United States. So, so, so money was a problem. It was tight. You remember? Right. I used to tell the story. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. Yeah. I used to tell a story that uh, the, every year around, uh, around, you know, the the whole resurrection time, or not resurrection, but around, they call it Halloween. You know, we call it, you know, um, uh, but, 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 but anyway, because we don't really celebrate that, so I try to find a better name for it. But anyway, uh, there would be this festival at my school. And so at the festival, uh, all the kids would bring money and they would be able to like buy nachos and buy cookies and buy brownies. And so you had all these, you know, juices and stuff out and you could just get all this stuff. And so I, I, you know, when I was a kid, we didn't really have any money. My grandmother, you know, she was 40 when she had me. So, I mean, when, you know, when my mother had me, my grandmother was 40 when she, you know, took me. My grandma didn't work. She only really got, she got some money from the government for me. So, you know, here I am, we're trying to make it. My grandfather, he was a farmer. And so they didn't really have a lot of money. So my grandmother would give me a dollar, maybe a dollar 50, sometimes $2. And so that was all she gave me. And so I remember saying one time, I said in my, I said in my heart, I said, well, when I grow up, I'm going to be able to buy all the brownies and cookies and nachos and everything that I want. And let me tell you something, whatever I want to buy now, I can buy it. Right. So there's a season where you where you desire things in life and right. then there comes a season in your life where you can where you have you in really fulfillment season. You can yes. really get and receive and yes. have anything that you want. And so for, for me, I'm in a season of fulfillment. Well, God is fulfilling me. things. He's yes. blessing me. Yes. Amen. I know what it's like to be tight. I know what it's like not to have money. I know what it's like to be constricted. I know what it's like to be financially struggling. I've gone through those seasons in my life, but I'm in a season now where God has opened doors for me, the floodgates of God's blessing. I can, we can bless other people. Some, you know, there's people, you know, different situations happen and we're not in a place now where we, we have the need, but we can, we have, we're blessed to be able to bless other people. And so that was what the, that's what the Abrahamic promise was in, in Genesis 12. He said, I'll bless you and I, and I, and then I'll bless them that bless you. Come on, I'll make you a blessing. And so it's time for us to begin to walk in the fullness of what God promised us and but the fulfillment, the manifestation so that now you're in that place of mega proportion where everything that belongs to you begins to be manifest. Everything that God promised you, you begin to see it. Everything that you've been believing God for, you begin to walk into it. Let me tell you something. This is that season for you yes. where you're going to begin to see the manifestation of every prophetic promise, 
the, the prophetic fulfillment is this is that time for you. Amen. So you better get ready. If I were you, I would begin to just shout and scream and, and praise God yes. because it's, it's that time. Yes. It's a time of prophetic fulfillment. There's yes. some of you that are on here. You've been believing God and for suddenness and trusting God for 18 months now. It seemed like nothing came. But listen, the woman with the issue of blood took 12 years. Come on. There were some other people that took longer. But I'm telling you that you're not going to not gonna have to wait any longer. This is that time where you're getting, somebody said, to tangible manifestation. Yes. yes. You're getting ready to see the tangible manifestation of the things you've been believing for. You've been believing for loved ones get healed and you've been believing for your ministry to grow you've been believing for your business to grow for your finances to grow for your life to change to get your peace back i'm telling you this is that time of fulfillment for you if you're like me you'll be able to buy all the nachos you want you'll be able to buy all the brownies you want yes. come on whatever you yes. want and you won't have any lack if you're like the shunammite woman you'll go from having only a, a, a cruise of oil to having enough oil to barrels. sell and and barrels of oil so you can sell and live on the rest come on if you're Jesus. like abraham you're getting ready to move from a place where you're blessed to your very blessed. Yes. He, you're going to a place where your territory is getting ready to be enlarged to the north, to the, the south, to the east, and to the west. God is getting ready to open up Jesus. everything that you have and everything you have need of. He's literally getting ready to do that for you. Amen? Amen. Well, listen, we're getting Jesus. out of here, but you trust God and believe God for it. Stand on the word of God. Believe God for that. Those of you, you know, today is the last day for the mega. Uh, today was the last day for the mega, uh, the mega discount on registering for the suddenly. And so that mega discount uh, is a blessing and it's huge. That's for our Tampa suddenly, www.lejeandevalore.com. Again, you know we're having Apostle John Eckhart. We're going to have Prophet Sophia Ruffin. We're going to have uh, Apostle Andy, uh, 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 Andrew Tao. We're going to have uh, Apostle Samuel Arboleda. And then we're also going to have uh, the, 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 uh, we're also going to have uh, from Curacao, uh, our good friend Andy and Water, and then Jenny Weaver is going to be doing worship, and so is Enrique Holmes, and then we also have the Eternal Worshippers. A lot of our prophets and, and leaders are going to be there, Latanya Smith, and uh, many others that you guys have seen minister with us. Uh, our whole worship team will be there, our minstrels will be there, and so we're expecting God to manifest. A lot of our sons and daughters are coming from other cities. Uh, yes, uh, does the premium seating include the mega marketplace? You know, we didn't talk about that. Let me take my glasses off and talk to you about that. So Michelle J. Miller and I were talking just the other night and we were talking about how, and she was like, she was like a possum. <clears throat> you gotta have something for marketplace because that's what we do. That's who yes. we are. We're marketplace. So when she said that, I quickly called, uh, I quickly called, uh, talked to my wife and then I quickly called Nicole and said, listen, we gotta put something up on that Saturday, I mean, on that Friday, the Thursday. So the Thursday, we're going to do something for marketplace leaders. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling like you don't really have creativity and ideas, all of the people that we're going to have on the panel are also prophets. I did, I talked to, I talked to Kendall. I talked to, uh, I talked to the smoking prophet. I talked to Lola Kabaya. I said, I need to hear from the millennial perspective. Right, because as a matter of fact, I connected someone with Michelle J. Miller um, and so to talk to her about something concerning her business and as as she got on the phone with uh, Prophetess Michelle J. Miller, God just began to reveal certain things to her um, concerning her business. And, and, and I'm, when I tell you, we were just in awe of what God did. And so this is the time in the season that God is releasing prophetic voices, you know, even to take you to your next level in your business, in your ministry. And so this is what this is all about. We want you to experience mega in every area of your life you know and you know we want uh, God wants you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers so even as you grow in God your business should grow as mm -hmm. you grow in God your family should grow amen and so God wants he wants the he wants to minister and to heal and to and to uh, bring healing and, and breakthrough to every area of your life the totality of who you are everything that concerns you then on that Friday uh, so we're doing Thursday we're doing marketplace a marketplace luncheon on the Friday, we're gonna do a mega, uh, a mega, um, mega ministry or a like a mega global ministry uh, thing for pastors and leaders for ministry. Because you got like Apostle Samuel. Apostle Samuel goes throughout all of Central and South America. This man of God has a plethora of understanding of how to do ministry in Central and South America, yes. how to develop networks, how to build those. Then you have Apostle Andy Edwarder who handles all of the Caribbean. And so this brother is anointed in the Caribbean. Amen. And I'm even going to ask Apostle John to be a part of this, this that, that luncheon where we're sitting at and Andrew Towles doing an amazing job. And so I'm going to ask them to come and help us to be able to really be able to impart during that lunch 
gumption to see people really, really go to their next level. Amen. Yes. And so I'm yes. really excited. Somebody asked, did the uh, does that does the the premier registration? I think that what we decided was that the premier re registration that you get at least one of the luncheons with the premier registration. I think that's what we said. Uh, I had to make sure I checked with my wife. But my wife was like, I it'll don't be, know. It'll be on there. All of the details will be on the, on the, website, on the website, so we'll make sure okay. of that. So y'all yeah, know I get in trouble because I give everything away. I'm just like, just have it all. And my wife's like, no, that's not wisdom. So she has to help <laughs> me out and bless me. But listen, let me tell you something. I'm excited for the Thursday. I'm excited for the Friday. I'm excited for everything that God is doing and how yes. he's going to do it. Because I really believe that when we are there, the prophetic anointing that's on our lives, and not just on us, but all the prophets that will be there, the marketplace leaders that will be there. Uh, you know, one of our members, Kendall, uh, Kendall T. Johnson, she was, uh, it was Michelle J. Miller was prophesying to her, listen to this. She was prophesying to her, Kendall uh, usually drives about an hour to an hour and a half to come to service. She lives in Orlando, and she's a, she's a stylist. And so here she is. She did one person's hair. And, and the girl posted it on her page, and she video. got 60, a short video, she got 60,000 shares, 60,000 shares, it's probably over a million people have seen this video, one video that she did doing this young lady's hair and, doing a, and talking about it. And so when you think about that, God, all God got to do is put you in the right place with the right person, the right prophetic voice and the right prophetic word. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, your stuff is going viral. Come on. Right. And, and as a matter of fact, she was already blessed in her business. And, and so now she is like booked up for six, eight months at a time. Wow. And people, right, mega yeah. exposure. I like mega that. Exposure. I like that. You can one 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 yes. situation, one circumstance. God can literally blow on your situation, and then you get you get mega proportions. Yes. Come on. Yes. yes, we are doing. We're probably going to do midnight to like three in the afternoon. Is what we're doing for 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 our consecration. Uh, that's what we usually do for hours, especially since we're going so long. Um, but you know, you have to. And then sometimes people have to end up doing medicine. But I've got a chart. So if you inbox me, I've got a, uh, I've got a, not necessarily a chart, but I've got a, a like a worksheet for those that that want to know more about fasting and the whole process. Put it on the um, group. It's my suddenly season. Whatever you say. Okay, we can yeah. do that. If you're a part of that group and you want to be a part of that group, it's my suddenly season on Facebook. Um, and if you're not on Facebook, of course, you can inbox us and we will get that um, worksheet to you in reference to fasting. And for this person, I think maybe from India, wherever you're from, that's saying that you need Jesus uh, in, in your life. Uh, or in your husband's life, we're going to pray for you. We're going to believe God that God is going to manifest himself to you. Yes. And then if you inbox us, we will definitely, I'll call you, you inbox me. I'll figure out a way to call you and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pray for you and we'll, uh, we'll see how we can get this together. Amen. Amen. We want to see you saved. We want to see your family saved. We want to see everything transform and change for the glory of God in your life. Yes. But listen, we love you. We're believing again for this month to be a month of mega proportions in your life. Even as she was doing it, I'm seeing God do. Yes, we are still thinking about it. Thank you, wow. Ken Rose, for reminding us about that. I'm sure my wife will create something. But again, I'm excited. I'm really yes. excited about that, that marketplace luncheon. Uh, and then the Saturday, we're going to have, uh, of course, we're going to have the Caribbean style luncheon. So we're going to uh, we're gonna try not to eat too much while you're in Florida <laughs> and then have to go back when you're dying. But I mean, we, we're going to spoil you. That's just everybody that comes here, they get spoiled. So That's it. Yeah, we're going to yep. have an awesome we time. Wanna make, we want to make everything we do be <laughs> contagious. So yes. you're like, my God, I don't yes. want to leave. I want to stay yes. right here the rest of my life. So we bless you. We praise you. Yes. We thank God for you. And we'll look forward to talking with you soon. Yes. Make sure you go to the website and register. Make sure you go to the website, register, get connected because we want to see you in the place. Amen? Amen. Amen. We love you. Again, love today's you the last. If you use the code MEGA, M-E-G-A, yes. it'll get you. I don't even know what the percentages off is, but uh, it's a blessing. I was yes. looking at some of the discounts the other day. I'm like, my God, that's a huge discount. <laughs> but at the same time, we want to be a blessing to people, and we want to see people be blessed and be favored. And uh, Nicole King-White, we are expecting you to be here, girl. We are yes. looking forward to you, excited for you. You've been hanging out with us for I can't even tell how long. You've been with yes. us for a long time now. So we're excited and expecting, again, those of you who are watching to be with us. And uh, we love you and we bless God for you. We thank God for you and we look forward to seeing you soon. Amen? Yes. All right. God bless. Bye-bye. See you at midnight. <laughs>